I'm Daniel from Coralus, and today I want to talk a little bit about coral placement. Uh, depending on what type of lighting you have and what kind of coral it is, you may want to place it high or low in your tank. In reality, there's so much more than just coral placement. Even if your lights are on par, you can run them too long, you can have the coral without flow. There's so many things that can affect the coral tissue. And here on this piece, I kind of wanted to show everyone that I had this in my tank with the LEDs and it has really suffered some damage and lost a lot of its coloration. Now the coral is healthy, the tissue on the coral is healthy, the coral by itself is actually a very healthy coral, but because of the lights being on too long, it has really taken a beating to the zoanthilla. And you can see in this picture here how much coloration it had. And even at that moment, it was still faded. Now I've been in this hobby long enough that I'm able to tell by looking at a coral. Um, it's very hard to do from pictures, but in person you can usually tell if the zoanthilla is stressed. So the tissue can be healthy and the coral, yes, can be sold and it's a healthy coral, but the colors will increase and intensify as that zoanthilla starts to multiply and get back to its healthy levels. You can see in this picture here with these two torches, the one under LEDs definitely was stressed out being in the light for so long. And it may not just be the, you know, people think, oh, my water's off, something's wrong with my corals. As far as tissue degradation, if your corals are falling apart, then yes, something's probably with your water or a fish is picking at it, a crab or something. Um, but when it comes to just decoloration, usually it's not an issue with your water as much as it is with your lights. So when people talk about coral placement, they go, oh, where should I put this coral? And usually for me, it's more about the water flow than the lighting itself. Because yeah, if you're doing an acro tank, I mean, some people will do mixed reefs, but for the most part, you're gonna wanna place those corals on your rocks where they're aesthetically pleasing for you. You're not just gonna put them you know, as close to the light as possible or on the sand or whatever. So designing and creating your tank it is an art and a lot of people, yeah, they worry about the health of the corals and whatnot. But more than coral placement, I would say is don't run your lights too long. High intensity is very damaging. That's one reason why people love the T5s. It's kind of hard to hurt or overdo it with the T5s. LEDs, yeah, you can overdo it pretty easily and hurt the corals. You can cook zoanthids, you can burn the corals. There's a lot of things that you can do with LEDs just because they're so intense. I mean, imagine what happens to an ant under a magnifying glass and then now you're putting an LED through a magnifying glass with those lenses. So the newer ones, heck yeah, are better at blending and I mean, that's what they advertise. A better par distribution, I mean, that's one reason why Ecotech and castles are becoming so much better and so much um, cleaner lighting without the color streaks that used to happen with the LEDs. So, I mean, the Chinese LEDs, they grow amazing. I'd recommend them to anyone. It's just certain lights are too powerful and people buy them because they're amazing lights and they don't realize the damage they're doing with the tissue. So, maybe I went a little off topic with this one. I was trying to talk about coral placement and I ended up talking about um, overpowering your lights. But I definitely want to do a couple videos on this and kind of educate people more on how to read the coral health and how to adjust your lighting to your tank's needs and what kind of coral tank you're going with. I mean, most people want mixed reef. Every once in a while you'll have like an SPS dominant person, which is awesome, and they're on point, they know their stuff they are doing SPS pretty much strictly. So their water's SPS water. Zoanthid people, mushrooms, there's a lot of different things that advice you would give for someone running up a, a tank like that, a soft coral tank versus hard corals. So, wow, there's a lot of information. And I definitely wanna keep people informed as much as possible. So please direct some questions back. Uh, it's easier to answer questions and kinda just tell everybody what I know. So I really appreciate the comments. It's been a big help for me making videos, hearing people in the comment section. So as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.